Pack it up, pack it in. Let me begin. Closing options. That's not a sin. It really isn't a sin when you can close those options in the money, in the profit, in the dollar bills. Tuck that into your sweet little wallet. We were at 1.688 million buying power to begin the day. We closed out those Bank of America put options in the previous video, and I want to increase this number again prior to tomorrow's inflation report. Just, you know, I'd like to be going into that report as neutral as possible. And why not put a couple more dollar bills, lock in the profits instead of rolling the dice and taking our chances. We'll roll the dice and take our chances after the market responds to that report tomorrow. What do you say? I say, let's do it, Bart. All right, Terry, <laughs> let's do it. Let's start up here at the top. Blackstone, we got these $78 puts, and we are two, approximately $270 into the net profit. We had $375 that we collected in premium at the time we put on the trade. Cost us approximately $105 now. So let me get my handy-dandy notepad, because let's do some math just to see where we are on this. So it's $7,800, right, per contract. So it's $78 times 100 times the number of contracts. There are five of them. So that is $39,000 in collateral, aka risk, in this trade. So we need to know that number to do our math, okay? So we're going to take the 375 that we put in our pocket from the original trade minus 105, end up with 270 divided by the 39,000 collateralized risk held to the side. And there is our equation. Now, this was eight days ago. So we divide it by eight, and then we annualize that number. How? Drum roll, please. Multiply it by $365. So it'd be a 31.5% return on collateral based on that fantasy math that we like. Again, over time, over time, we will see where these numbers come in. But as of this very moment, that fantasy math gets me excited, right? Because it is real math based on real numbers, but you'd have to repeat this exact trade over and over and over again, given the similar premium, similar numbers, similar market response to the price of the share, premium, volatility, all the et cetera's that go into it. Now there's no guarantee that we're gonna be able to close this out at 105 bucks either, but we are certainly gonna try because we're gonna put in 21 cents Right there, medium likelihood to fill, buy to close, five puts, trying to release $39,000 in the collateral. And then we hold our breath. Come on, Blackstone, you can do it. Okay, there we go. So we just paid $105, and then we netted the difference between the two, which is $270 bills, which showed us an annualized return of 31.5%. And the reason that it's so high is because we just put this trade on eight days ago. April 3rd. So that is one ringy dingy down. And now we can go back to the main board and probably watch before our very eyes as our collateral or our buying power goes up. Just hold that stare for just one moment. Can we do it? There it is. We're almost at 1.8 million, starting the day at 1.688 million. Now, giving you my thoughts, continuing with Citigroup, we will leave this call on the table. Okay, it's a $47 call. And currently, C Group is at $46.86. Now, this could be called away, and that would be fine in this scenario because we have a cost basis of $44.87. So we collected the premium. Where is the premium? It's down here somewhere. Show me more, show me more, show me the premium. So this is history. They should have a fresh view of that current position. Where is it? There it is. So there is the current position. Wait, those are the puts. Here's the call. Click into that call just to see what we collected when we traded it. Okay, so we collected, it was on a roll. So we collected 56 on the roll. Have some other dollar bills we put in our pocket. Currently, City's at 46.88. If it gets called away at 47, so be it. You can take it back. That's fine. 
into the next one. Cotera will let that go at 2550. Uh, the Google, though, I'm looking at rolling that. I know I keep flip flopping, changing my mind, but let's see if we can't roll it out. I don't know, to like Cinco de Mayo, por favor, and collect some dollar bills as well as rolling this up and out. So we want to get more dollar bills on our money. Right now, Google's at 105.76. Can we get this up to 99 or 100? Okay, and still collect premium on the roll. So let's find out. It's going to be tight. So let's click on, let me scroll up just a little bit here to show you. Roll this position. And it's two contracts, okay? We need to clear this hurdle. That hurdle would be the debit. That's what it would cost us to close that based on this roll position. I wanted to look out to May 5th, which is, you know, it's just over three weeks away, but just three weeks from the current expiration on this contract, which is April 14th. So that's only an additional three weeks. So if we do math based on that, it's 21 days. What do we have to do to clear and cash? Oh, I was hoping to get to 100. We could get to 99 red luft balloons. If we went to red, 99 red luft balloons, we'd collect 154 today, and then we would add $200 to our net position based on share appreciation. So that'd be $354, right? And our current position is 92.47. So 92.47 a share. What is, what's the math? And then we'll add, we'll do the three week math because that's the difference between these two contracts of April 14th and May 5th. Hopefully some of this is making sense. So we got 92.47, right? Times two. That is the current investment on the table, 18494 And we're saying that we can collect $160 in premium plus roll up to the 99 from the 98, which would add $1 per share. And we have 200 shares on the table. So that would be $200 bills. $170 plus $200 equals $370. Now we divide it by not these numbers, these strike prices, but our actual investment, which is 92.47 a share cost basis for a total of 18,494, okay? Divided by 18,494, there's our 2% return during that time frame. Divide it by 21 days, because that's the difference between this original contract, which is on the table now, and the new position, three weeks, which is 21 days, so there's that math, and then we annualize it by multiplying it by 365. So that is a very suitable number for us, 34.7% annualized. So let's try to do that and see if we can't roll it out and up. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's trouble. There's a huge, huge difference in the spread there between the bid and the ask. What do we have to do? to fill it. Can we get 99 red luff balloons on that and catch catch even more credit than we anticipated? What can we go to? How high can we go? Can we get real high? 101. 101, collecting 202. Review that order, covered call roll. We're buying to close and selling to open. Three weeks out and $1 out. So that'll add if that gets filled, if that gets filled, that'll add to our return. That will add to our equation. We're going to leave it on the board at the moment and go back to the main board and see where we're at. So we're leaving this Citigroup call, leaving the Coterra Energy call, trying to roll the Google out and up. We're leaving the Coca-Cola on the table, and that is currently at 62 53. So that'll be called away on Friday if it continues to be, of course, over the strike price. But we're at a 59.58 on our cost basis and we've collected dividends. So we're fine. We're fine. We'll take the profit, right? We like to take the profit. We'll leave these Bank of America calls on the table as they're only 50% in the profit. They should end up at 100% depending on tomorrow's inflation report. 
coupled with Bank of America's earnings. So when their earnings comes out next Tuesday, I mean, they could surprise everyone and and beat on both sides on earnings per share and revenue, or they could take it on the chin and these will then quickly go to 100% profit. Okay, and even though this is a very safe number at $72, these 10 puts, that's still $72,000 of risk on the table. So I was thinking about go ahead and just trying to close these now. What's the bid and ask say? Oh, it's pretty tight, 39 and 42, right? So we collected $930 on April 4th. So that is just seven days away. So on April 4th, today is the 11th, right? <laughs> it is, it's still the 11th. So seven days away, a week away, or a week ago, we collected $930 on this trade, which is approximately 55% into profit. It cost us around $410 to buy that back. But of course, we net the difference and we remove $72,000 from the table. So I wanted to just see, like, what can we get? Can we do it at $40? $400? Is that possible to fill? It's a, still a pretty bid pretty close bid and ask. So possible that that would fill right now by to close those 10, releasing the $72,000. Okay. So that would be 400. We collected 930. We'll do the math. We'll do the math while we, oh, 510. Okay. They're all filled. There it goes. $72,000 back in the hopper for us. Plus we got the difference in the two. So that's $530 that we collected in seven days. So that math is what? 530. Okay, that's our net profit. 530 divided by 72,000. That was our collateral. That's this equation in seven days. So we divide it by seven, right? And then we do our fantasy math that we love, which is annualized. And we end up at 38.3% return on our collateral in this scenario. Hey, that sounded fun. Scenario is fancy, isn't it? <laughs> Terry, you you chimed in today a couple times. I appreciate your participation. So there we go. Some more net net profit into our sweet hands. And let's watch this go up right before our very eyes. Currently at 1.799 million. Now at 1.943. And that is because it's almost a twofold, right? Because within this buying power is margin, which is essentially credit provided by the broker according to the size of your account. Now, I currently use zero of the margin, but as I become more experienced, if I begin to actually learn a thing or two, then I will not hesitate to use some margin going forward because it becomes very levered, nicely leveraged into our favor if we kind of know what we're doing. We don't yet, but we're getting there. So this number isn't gonna change today. It will likely change tomorrow from all the cash that we've put back into the coffers. But let's continue to look through our positions here. Let's go back to this Google covered call and replace that order. Maybe take a buck off, see what we have to do in order to get it. So we need to go back to May 5th, right? which was a three week difference from where we were. And we're going to, was it the 99? Yep, going to the 99 red luft balloons. Continue, uh, let's go with, let's try the 99. Can that get us to a medium fill? $198 of credit plus the $200 in share appreciation. And there we go. So there it filled. We collected that premium and rolled that position out and up, which is what we wanted to accomplish. Got that going for us. Uh, so we're letting these calls all ride right now. And this put is currently in the money. So even though it's showing this, that we're $681 in the profit, that's because we've rolled this thing like roll, roll, roll your boat. Isn't that row, row, row? Yeah, it is. Maybe it's roll out the barrel, roll in those city group puts. So right now we're just letting it ride. And we may get put those shares at 47.50. I don't really, I'm not in the mood 
to roll those. I'll just take a little gas if I have to, if I get them at a, if, you know, the share price is lower than that 4750 at the time, or as you know me, I may change my mind between now and the expiration, but I'm also looking next at Caterpillar 202.50 put, currently 83, 83% into the profit, and we collected 230 dollars on that trade on April 6th, and it's going to cost us approximately $39 to close it out. So let's try to do that. Let's try to do that. And then what will we do? We'll put $20,000 back into the coffer and lock in our profit between the $230 and the $39 we're about to pay to two we hold in our breath and we released we released the hound so let's do that math one more time i know this video is getting long in the tooth already at over 15 minutes coming up on 16. so we did 230 minus 39 right so that's what we netted 191 dollars, and we did it in just five days because that trade was put on on april 6 so that was five days so we take the 191 net profit divided by the 20,250 collateral we divide that equation by the five days and then we do the fantasy land math of annualizing that return and now that's at ho <laughs> cuckoo for cocoa puffs oh 68.8 eight percent annualized return on that particular trade so we like that a lot and so while we're at it let's look at the next caterpillar i think we have another caterpillar on the board we're not going to make nearly as much on it right it's the 207 it's the 20750 but there's three of those contracts so as far as actual dollar bills we're going to make more money because that's approximately at 480 dollar profit because we collected 702 on that trade on april 4th so that was seven days ago it will cost us approximately 219 dollars to get out of this trade so if we put in our three contracts what do you think 72 well 72 get it done that would cost us 216 dollars 216 and release 62,250 dollars in collateral Let's see if we can buy that to close, and we did. So let's do the math. You like the math. I don't know if you do. Hopefully you don't click off of the videos when I get my fantasy land math going on. But let's just look through the numbers. 702 is what the original premium was, and then we just bought it back for 216. That is a credit minus a debit equals $486 in net profit. But then we have to divide it by the collateral. So we divide by 62200 fifty dollars to come up with this equation and it was in seven days so we divide it by seven okay and then we do our fantasy land math and it's not going to be nearly as impressive as the last caterpillar trade that we just ran the math on but it's still going to be 40.7 percent we'll take that all day and how many times on sunday that'd be two right bart yep two times on sunday we would take that trade as well as every day of the week so let's take a sweet look at that buying power because that's going to be sitting pretty real soon here let's take a look at that buying power hold our breath as it goes up and 2.1 milli 2.1 million dollars in buying power as we continue to remove risk from the table let's end this video let me regroup i've been drinking coffee all morning so i'm gonna have to take a little potty break as well and then i'll be back and we'll check back in until that time, make sure you are a subscriber. Now, let me just slow it down for a second there. If you enjoy watching these videos, but you have yet to subscribe, please, <laughs> we're friends, aren't we? Just click on the subscribe button. Even click on that notification bell. Yeah, I do post several videos a day from time to time, but we're friends and we need to do this together. We really do. This is a journey, a journey of freedom. Let's do it together. Click the like button. Leave me a lovable comment, share it with one of your good friends, and then I'll see you. You know what I'll do. I'll see you in the next video.